Nebuchadnezzar's dream Nebuchadnezzar's dream featured a huge statue made of various substances, substances that changed in value from the head on down to the feet. The colossal image represents the imposing greatness and splendor of the Gentile world powers, including Nebuchadnezzar's Babylon. Humanity sees its own achievement in just this way, as great and awesome. Daniel shows God's perspective and qu is quite different. The statue's head of gold represents Nebuchadnezzar and the kingdom of Babylon, uh, 606 to 536 BC. The chest and arms of silver symbolize the Medo-Persian Empire, which endured for more than 200 years, 538 to 331 BC. The two arms of the image stand for the divided nature of this empire. The belly and thighs of bronze signify the kingdom of Greece under Philip of Macedon and his famous son, Alexander the Great. Bronze was the symbol of Greece, partly because Alexander the Great dressed his soldiers in bronze armaments. Writers of scripture often use stone imagery to refer to Christ. These are the times of the Gentiles, a period that began with the captivity of Judah under Nebuchadnezzar and will end at the second coming of Christ. That's after the millennial reign, um, a thousand years after Armageddon. The king of all kings gave this kingdom to Nebuchadnezzar, a king of earthly kings, while the Babylonian kingdom was not as extensive as others that followed, Nebuchadnezzar exercised total control over it. Isaiah calls the city of Babylon the golden city. Jeremiah refers to Babylon as a golden cup. While scripture does not specifically identify Rome as the fourth empire, history indicates that it must be so. The Romans conquered Alexander's empire through what became known as the Iron Legions of Rome. The word iron is used 14 times here. This, this imperialistic Roman nation put Jesus on the cross and ruled ruthlessly in the New Testament era. Many have tried to guess what the ten toes might mean. At the least, there will be a ten kingdom confederacy that rules the Antichrist during, rules with the Antichrist during the end times. One image comprised of many kingdoms, all opposed to and hating God, will be destroyed by one stone thrown by eternal God, thus establishing the fifth and final kingdom, which will stand forever without, with, well, forever. without hands is another way of saying that Christ is of divine origin, not human origin. Just as God's revelations and prophecy were certain and sure, so are his promises for his people. Nebuchadnezzar's worship conduct, worshipful conduct honored the gods of gods, whom Daniel represented. Bye, God bless you.